Well, the challenges of diagnosing ADHD and bipolar disorder have to do with the fact that the symptoms of bipolar disorder and ADHD overlap. So the symptoms, for example, distractibility is one of the core symptoms of ADHD. and It's actually one of the core symptoms of both a major depressive episode and a manic episode. So whenever you have overlapping symptoms, uh, and you have, a, like for instance, a patient comes in with distractibility, which of the diagnoses are you supposed to give? Uh, other symptoms, hyperactivity, which is in ADHD, you see that in bipolar disorder in the, term of, in the form of psychomotor agitation. So whenever you have overlapping symptoms, you have to pick, it makes it difficult to differentiate between the two. Uh, the, the other thing that's, uh, that makes it challenging is the combination. It's not really either or. It's not like schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder. We can't have both uh, schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder. It's one versus the other. ADHD and bipolar disorder can co-incur. In fact, they're, they're very commonly co-occur. And when you have a combination of ADHD and bipolar, it's worse than having one by itself. So trying to uh, figure out which it is and whether it's both is important. And the reason you need to figure out which it is is because the treatment of these two conditions are different. So you want to be able to pick the right treatment by differentiating the two disorders.